Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I have not done a favorites video in months, you guys. It's been maybe three, four months. I fell behind, okay? I fell behind, but I'm here today to share all of the products that I have been loving, 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 loving this past month of October. We are now in November, so this year has blown by like it is gone it's gone it's gone but anyway all of the products that i'm sharing today have been products that i have been using religiously all month long of october and i could not put these products down some of these are kind of new because i just shared them on my channel not too long ago but they have become my favorites so let's go all right i want to talk about some body care really quick because i don't really talk about too much body care on my channel but let me tell you the olay moisture ribbon plus i purchased this because i have seen so many sponsored posts from influencers all over youtube all over instagram and i was like okay is this body wash really that good? So I went ahead and tried it out for myself. This is not sponsored, but if you're watching Olay, what's up? But yeah, I went ahead and purchased it for myself because I wanted to see what the hype was about. Cause I've seen a lot of, like I've seen a ton of sponsored posts, especially on Instagram, um, featuring this moisturizer. And this was the beginning of October towards the end of September-ish. Um, so I just went ahead, got it for myself just to see what the hype was about. I got the fragrance Shea Man Manuka Honey, and this is how, um, the front of it looks. But let me tell you, when I tried this out the very, very first time, I noticed, I noticed right then, right there, that this was going to be my body wash for fall, for winter time, because this is a true moisturizing body wash. Just after the first wash, the first time with me using this, I noticed how moisturizing it was, how moisturized my skin was with getting out the shower. Even before putting on lotion, my skin felt like it did not even need any type of lotion on my body because it felt so hydrated, so moisturized, and it just feels really... I don't know, even in the shower, like when you're applying it on your body, it just feels so luxurious and moisturizing. And it even says on the front, rich moisture with every wash, and it is what it says. It's rich, it's moisturizing, and you get that rich moisture in every single wash. Y'all can see how much I've been using right here. The thing about this body wash, I noticed, um, another thing that I noticed about this body wash is the first time I use it, I could tell I didn't have to use that much. I did use a lot because I always go overboard with my products when using them, but, um, I did squirt out a generous amount on my washcloth, but I noticed when doing that, I got so much lather. Like I didn't even need to use that much. So I've been using less than I did the first time and a very long way. So you don't have to use a lot of the product, but this is going to be perfect for you. If you have dry skin, if you have dry flaky skin, you really need to get this. And again, I cannot stress to you guys how this is not sponsored, but it is not sponsored. It's not, I really genuinely like this product and I probably would not have picked this up if I didn't see so many ads, so many sponsor posts on this product. So they did good there. They did really good with their marketing right there, but it's good. All right, so since the Sephora sale is still going on right now, I'm gonna have the details down below in my description if you guys wanna know you know, when the sale is happening, which is happening right now, when it's gonna end, the, uh, the percentage, all of that good stuff. But I wanted to share these two products from Laura Mercier. These are the two that I shared in my Sephora haul um, about three weeks back. And I wanted to kind of follow up with you guys on these products. I know in that video, I talked about the almond coconut body cream that I was already using it. And I'm still using this and it is so, so, so perfect for this time of the year. When I tell you this locks in so much moisture, this is hands down one of the best luxurious moisturizers that I've tried. It's not cheap, 
okay? It's not cheap, so that's why it is perfect to get it right now since Sephora is having their sale. You don't even have to wear a perfume when wearing this because the smell is so strong. It's not strong to where it's like overbearing strong, but it is a nice, sweet, warm, strong scent that you honestly and truly don't have to wear a perfume on top of this if you are gonna be wearing this, especially if you're wearing this during the day. I usually put this on after I get done showering, but this still has its scent. Like I still smell like this product when I wake up in the morning times. It's still lingering on my skin. It's just, oh, it's so freaking good, okay? It's so good. You can see that I have been using the mess out of this product if it'll focus i think it's focusing is it yeah it's focusing so i've dug quite a bit out i've been using this like crazy definitely a great investment if you're looking for a nice body cream that actually stays on your body instead of just absorbing and not making you feel hydrated um not hydrated but moisturized this is great this will be perfect for this time of the year the other one i want to talk about is the laura mercier body sugar this is the um almond coconut sugar scrub smells just like the body butter this is very different than any other sugar scrub that i've used the texture it kind of feels you know how how do i explain the texture i don't want to touch it but let me show y'all how much I've used of this too. <laughs> I've been using this like crazy too. And it comes with the little scoop. I just keep the scoop inside of the little container. But most body scrubs that I've used, they feel really um, crummy. I mean, they're supposed, to, they're supposed to feel crummy. But this has a texture like no other. It feels, you can feel the grittiness, the crumminess of it. Is that even a word but you can feel it once you um, scrub it on your body but it also has a texture kind of like a ooh, how do I explain this not like a it's not sticky it's like a creamy texture like gel kind of like a gel feel but you also get that the the, the scrub you feel this like ah, I'm the worst at describing stuff but it has a really unique texture and I love how it feels on my skin this is also moisturizing too so when I get out of the shower I really don't have to put on any body lotion or body butter because this is also really 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 moisturizing on the skin but I still put on my body creams because that's just what I do anyway but this and this are a match made in heaven. I highly recommend these, okay? Highly recommend these right now during the Sephora sale. If you have been wanting something new, something different, um, and if you're really into body care, highly recommend um, trying these out. Okay, let's talk about a cleanser that I have been loving, y'all. Y'all know I am all about the Tata Harper cleanser. I talk about that nonstop. I repurchase it over and over and over again. But today I am here to share a cleanser that is affordable, that you can get from Target, and that is perfect for sensitive skin. And that is this one by Bliss. I purchased this and I also purchased the um, the Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Soothing Toner Mist, which I'm going to talk about in a few minutes. But y'all, this is a good cleanser, especially, especially, especially if you have sensitive skin. And it does say it on here. Um, it's a gentle foaming cleanser for sensitive skin. So I like this cleanser because it feels like a luxurious, rich, expensive cleanser i like how i can use a drop of this cleanser and it lathers up like crazy on the face so this also just like the olay body wash this is another one that a little bit of this is going to go a long way and it's very thick too the scent of this is kind of like a rose scent so if you're not into those rose like a rose scent anything you may not like this but i mean the scent it goes away in a plus it's just a cleanser you're not gonna you know keep this on your face so definitely been loving that another one of course is this toner mist that i just shared a minute ago this is the um soothing toner mist for sensitive skin so both of these 
are great for sensitive skin if you are one of those people that break out really easily which I don't think I really share this much on my channel but I do consider my skin to be sensitive if I do break out it's usually in this area around my nose and also on my chin but um, yeah if you have sensitive skin I definitely try these out especially if you've never tried out anything from bliss which is me I've never tried out any products from bliss so these are my first no I take that back um the first product that i tried from bliss are their um their makeup cleaning uh i cannot talk their makeup cleansing cloths which i do like those but i wanted to try out more products so i gravitated towards these because um the sensitive skin part really stuck out to me and i wanted to try something different especially a cleanser because i don't really um share many drugstore or affordable cleansers on my channel besides the tata harper which is not affordable or drugstore so i definitely wanted to kind of give you guys another option of a cleanser especially that's affordable if you have been looking for a cleanser for sensitive skin so i would say try this out again i got it from target and also the the toner um miss i also got this from target but this mist the the main thing i like about this is a sprayer i know that's kind of like whatever but um i like the sprayer on this because it is so fine it is so so fine and it sprays evenly on the face so the way I use this is I'll apply this on my skin after washing my face before I go in with the moisturizer and I notice when using this this kind of really um, tightens my skin it is a um, it is a toner but most toners that I've used it doesn't make my skin feel tight so this does kind of make my skin feel a little tight but I do still go over it with a moisturizer so that definitely helps and I also noticed when using this my skin looks more radiant because there was a time that I used this without going over it with the moisturizer I just cleaned my face and then sprayed a little bit of this on my face and then that was it and I know this was when I wasn't even going out like I was staying in the house I wasn't doing anything but I noticed this makes my skin look really really nice and radiant and even so I like that but I mostly use it to um, like during my nighttime skincare routine or sometimes in the morning times when I'm doing my makeup, I'll sometimes use this, but I more so use this at night. But I do like how it makes my skin look radiant and healthy and I also like the sprayer on it. I think once I get this, um, once I finish using this, I'll take this off and put it on another sprayer or like another mist that I have. But yeah, definitely try these out if you have not tried out anything from Bliss um another facial spray that i've been loving is this one by fresh this is the vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water you can get this from sephora so this is the perfect time to get it because sephora is having their sale i also like the mist on this it does have that nice fine mist which also kind of reminds me of the morphe continuous mist i like how this makes my skin look radiant kind of like the bliss um the bliss um toner but this is not a toner this is a setting spray so if I use this I usually use it before my makeup and after my makeup but lately I've been using this before applying any makeup and I like how it just makes my makeup kind of blend in better um, I used to use the the Mac um, what is it max uh, why can't I talk today the Mac Fix Plus. I used to use that all the time before applying my makeup. So I've kind of been getting into that routine where I spray on a little spray before I apply my makeup. And this is the one that I've been using recently. And I really like it. This comes in two sizes. This is a smaller size, but you can definitely get the larger size if you guys want. This has a, like a really sweet citrusy scent. Smells really sweet and fresh. I like it. So that's that my hair is doing something weird right here I just washed it earlier and I did do a um, sit down get ready with me video so you guys will see like my hair wet and all of that but that video is gonna go up later on I don't know when but it will go up it's a vanity chat Sunday so it's gonna go up on a Sunday don't know when but it will be up on a Sunday all right before we go into makeup I have a couple of more products that's not like makeup related um, which are these nails press on nails I think I've already mentioned these in a favorites video months back but I want to mention these again because I've been wearing these ever since then and I have not gone to a nail salon like at all so these are the ones by kiss both of these are by Ki um, both of these are by kiss I don't have these on right now but these are I'm saying these so many times but 
The nails that I have on right now are also by Kiss. And um, the ones that I usually get, I have, does it have the style on it? I'll show you guys up close. These are my favorites. They're not too long. They're the perfect, perfect, perfect size and they fit perfectly. And then I have this style, which is um, the ones that I had on not too long ago. It's like a really pretty nude short style. This is actually the same style. I know one just popped off. I'm gonna actually apply this one in a few minutes so y'all can see how I apply it. But this is the same length as these right here. But yeah, I've been loving the Kiss Press On Nails. They're so convenient. They actually last for a while. I've had this set on for at least two weeks now and I have not had any issues except for this one right here, which has popped off. I have it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it so y'all can see how I apply the nails. Um, but I use the glue that's inside the nail, the, the box. I just squirt the glue out and put it on my nail like this let me show y'all up close so i just squirt it out put it on my nail like this kind of distribute it all over the nail i probably do it wrong you're probably not supposed to do it like this but this is how i mean it works for me and i don't apply the nail straight on top of my nail i kind of push it into my nail bed like i push push it into my nail bed so that way it can actually looks like it's actually growing out of my finger <laughs> and then I just press it on there I keep it pressed I just press it on there for a good five to ten seconds keep it like that press down hard because you don't want it to come up I'm actually gonna do a full nail tutorial on my Instagram, so make sure you guys are following me on there. I'm gonna leave my handle right there on the screen, but I'm gonna do one on my Instagram because I feel like it'll be easier to film it with my cell phone versus my camera. But yeah, that is how the nail looks. It's on, it's nice and secure. I wash dishes with these, I wash my hair, bathe, wash my dogs and I don't have any trouble with these nails at all. So I've definitely been loving these. You can get them from Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. I think the Dollar um, Dollar General sell them as well. But yes, that's that. All right, one more product that's not like makeup makeup, which is a primer. This is the one by Ren. It's a perfect canvas primer and this is one I've been using pretty much all month long. You don't have to use a lot of this, which it looks like I barely use it, but I like this primer because it really reminds me of the Milk Hydra Grip, and that is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite primers. I like how tacky it gets on the skin. This allows my makeup to stay in place all day long, and it just gives you a nice, smooth canvas. It's very watery, so you really don't have to use a lot of the product, but it is really really watery but once it starts to dry down on the skin it gets really really tacky so this has been really good for the month of october and you can get this from sephora so right now is the best time to get it because i keep, i know i keep saying this over and over and over again but the sale is happening right now so anything that i share in today's video that's from sephora that you want to try out now is the best time to get it but yeah this is the ren clean can well perfect canvas clean primer all right, let's talk about a foundation I've been loving, which is the Milk Foundation Stick. I use the shade Golden Deep. This is one I've been using in my videos recently, and I have not put this down. I actually put this in my Everyday Makeup Sash for this month, and I used it nonstop ever since I got it last month. So this is um, pretty much a natural finish. I have a tutorial using this. I have a couple of videos using this. I'm going to try to find the videos and have them down below if you guys miss those. But I like the finish of this foundation. It gives me a nice, natural, even, no makeup makeup look. And I think this looks really pretty if you apply a little bit of this, especially on those days when you want to wear that no makeup makeup natural look. But you can apply another layer and this gives you more of a coverage. So this is definitely a buildable foundation if you want to build it up. It doesn't look too cakey on the skin. This really reminds, I, I always say this, but this really reminds me of the minted foundation stick. But it's not as dewy as the minted foundation stick. So if you have minted um, the minted foundation stick and if you've been wanting to try this one by Milk, then you kind of 
I don't want to say you kind of have an idea of how it is because you really have to try it for yourself, but it kind of gives you an idea of how this foundation stick would be. It's just not as dewy as the minted foundation stick. And this is another one from Sephora if you wanting to try this foundation out. So the Nabla Close Up Loose Setting Powder, this is in the shade Translucent. I feel like this brand is not talked about enough. Their products are really, really good. And honestly and truly, I probably would not to this day have tried out anything from Nabla if they didn't send me a huge box filled with pretty much everything that they have on their website. So I did like a full face trying out their products. Their eyeshadow palettes are good, especially their mattes. They have some of the best matte shadows. I don't have their palettes in front of me because I haven't really been using those um, for the month of October, but I've definitely been using this powder. To compare this one to any other setting powder that you guys may have tried out, um, I would say the Laura Mercier. Very, very, very close to Laura Mercier. I don't think I could compare this to anything else, but I feel like this is super duper close to Laura Mercier setting powder, but this one is a little bit more matte than Laura Mercier in my opinion. So if you love Laura Mercier, but you wish it was a little bit more mattifying, especially like as a powder that you're gonna wear all day long, I use this only to set my concealer, but if you're, really loving the Laura Mercier powder, but you feel like it needs to be a little bit more matte, a little bit more mattifying on the skin, especially if you have oily skin, I think you would like this. Um, I think this is sold at Ulta. They do have some of their products sold on Ulta or inside, well inside, no, online at Ulta, but I don't think they have this one. You can definitely get this on the Nabla website. Um, I'll have to double check, but um, I don't think they have a setting powder on Ulta. But yeah, this is the Close Up Loose Translucent Setting Powder, and this is how it looks. So I've really been loving the Black Radiance Palette. This is not new. I just kind of pulled it out for my everyday makeup sash the, um, for the month of October. This is the Dark Deep, and I use the middle shade as my bronzer and then the highlighter in here. I don't really dip into the dark shade because it's a little bit too dark and I don't really contour I usually like to just bronze the skin just kind of warm it up I'm actually okay with not contouring my skin because I'm more so um, I'm more into bronzing and warming up the skin than kind of sculpting the skin so yeah perfect shade as my bronzer and this is a really really pretty highlighter on my skin tone um, but yeah again this is the dark deep palette Speaking of Nabla, the mascara is called the Major Pleasure Mascara. This is the mascara I've been using all month long for the month of October. I'm actually putting this one in my everyday makeup sash for this month as well. I like this because it is so, so, so similar to the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex, but the wand is a lot, it's actually a little bit skinnier than Too Faced Better Than Sex, but it's not too skinny. It's actually a great size if you want to use it for your bottom lashes. I know the um, the Too Faced mascara, the wand is a little bit too fat for me for my bottom lashes because I usually get some of the product on my skin down there. But this is the perfect, perfect, perfect size for my top and my bottom lashes. And I like how it grips to every single lash. Like it doesn't just scrape the lashes. It actually grips on to every lash and it gives me that nice voluminous length. This is really, really good. I think this one is on Ulta. Um, I'm going to have everything I talk about down below in the description anyway, but I want to say they do have the mascara on Ulta. Okay, let me share these two brushes that I have been using nonstop and that I feel like I've been talking about a lot recently. One is the Sonia Kashuk powder brush. This is so luxurious, but it's affordable. It is affordable. If I had to compare this to a brush, like a high-end expensive brush, it would be the La Mer powder brush. So this is it right here, the La Mer, and then we have the Sonia Kashuk. Both of, I mean, they look just alike. They feel just alike. They work the same. If you're looking for a good, affordable, big powder brush, then try this one. But yes, I definitely wanted to share that one with you guys. And I also wanted to share the Sephora Pro number 50. I know this is always in and out of stock. I think it's out of stock right now. I don't know. I didn't check before I filmed this video, but this has been my favorite bronzer brush. This right here is, girl, this is so 
so nice, so fluffy, and I love how it just makes my bronzer look so diffused and airbrushed on my skin. If you can get your hands on this, if you see it in stock, put it in your cart, check out right then and there. This is good. Okay, we're finally down to lip products and then we will be done with this video. The first one I wanna share is this Milani Lip Plumping Gloss. These are some of my favorite drugstore lip plumpers. I have the shade Rosewood. This is a new shade for me. The other shade that I use is um, Gold Shimmer. Ah, what is it called? Dang it, it's in my purse. I don't wanna go get it. I'll leave it on the screen. <laughs> But I wanted to get this one because this shade looks really, really, really pretty and just a nice everyday your lips but better color. I like it because it's pretty sheer. Like you don't really get the full um, color on your lips, but it is pretty sheer. But look at that color. It is gorgeous. I would put it on right now, but... No, I'm not gonna put it on right now because I have something else on my lips. But this is what I've been throwing on my lips, especially on those days when I don't have on makeup or if I have on that no makeup makeup look, but I want a tint of color on my lips. This is what I would throw on. Another gloss, well, two other glosses I've been loving are these by Hourglass. These are kind of new to me. I purchased these last month. I think it was towards the beginning of last month, but I haven't put them down since, especially the shade, um, you not um, ignite this is a peachy rose gold kind of clear looking shade right there and i've been using this by itself i've been topping this off um putting it on top of lipsticks liquid lipsticks so this has been my go-to kind of everyday um gloss if i just want to kind of throw on something that's going to give me that nice sheer kind of shiny glittery look but it's not like too 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 glittery so that's that and another one is called strike this is a really really pretty everyday nude and i live for this it's also one of those sheer looking glosses like it's not extra dextra uh, extra dextra it's not well there you go extra it's not extra dextra pigmented like super duper it's not extra dextra Y'all know what I'm talking about. Another gloss that I wanna share with you guys, this is actually kinda new to me because I purchased this about a couple of weeks back. It's called the Makeup Revolution Plumping Gloss Pout Bomb. Now they do have other shades. I just wanted to pick up the clear one because I really wanted to just test it out first before I go into getting a shade that actually you can see on the lips. But girl, this right here is only $7, $7. It is so affordable. This is one of the best clear glosses that I've tried from, it's not from the drugstore, it's from Ulta, but one of the best affordable, I don't even know why I'm swatching this because it's clear, but it's one of the best affordable clear glosses. My top favorite clear gloss would have to be the e.l.f. Clear Lacquer, but this is my second favorite. There it is right, I mean, why am I showing y'all this? It's clear, it's clear, it's right there. But it's a plumping gloss and it doesn't have that tingly feel like most plumping glosses do. It's more so really cold on the lips and I just, I don't know, it feels good to me. I like when my lips feel cold, like really cool instead of tingly. But yeah, if you're looking for an affordable lip plumper that doesn't feel like you have needles on your lips, like it doesn't sting, it doesn't feel too prickly, anything like that, it just feels nice and cool on the lips, Try these out if you are wanting something like that. And again, they do have different shades. I just wanted to get the clear just to kind of try it out first before I go into um, getting something that looks, that you can see on my lips. One more lip product I wanna share, which is one that you can get from Sephora. This is the Biosance Rose Vegan Lip Balm. I think I've talked about this well, no, I've used this in pretty much every single makeup tutorial. Like the first thing I'm putting on my face is a lip product. So I would put this on my lips. This is it. And this has been my go-to lip balm for the month of October. Only thing I don't like about it is I don't really care for lip balms that are in a jar. Like I'd rather them be in a squeeze too because I don't really like dipping my finger in it. But other than that, I really like how the product is on my lips. I like how moisturizing it is. I like to wear this under my lip products. I like to wear this by itself. Sometimes I wear it at nighttime. This is a really nice hydrating lip balm and it is vegan. So if you, you know, 
are wanting a vegan lip balm, you can definitely get this from Sephora right now. But yes, that is all that I have for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's anything that I shared that you have already tried out or if there's anything that you want to try out, let me know. So let's go ahead and chit chat down below in the comments. I am doing giveaways on my channel every month and it is finally a new month. So that means a new box. So every single month I give away one box to one person and it's really easy to enter. All you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you thumbs up this video as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section. And I don't want the comments to be anything about the giveaway. Let's talk about the products that I shared in today's video, what you like, what you dislike. Also, let's talk about some products that you've been loving as well. So I want to know what you have been loving for the past month of October or currently. So let's talk about it down below in the comments. And that is all that I have. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.